to a very special edition of Some Other Night's Main Event. My name is Jim, Jim Ed, Jim Ed Cobb, and joining me, the man to my right, is the one, the only, Tony Mahoney. Say hello to everybody, Tony. Oh, oh, oh okay. Appreciate it. Oh, go on. Now, Tony here is a bit touched, but let me assure you, when it comes to the ins and outs of the squared circle, there is no man more knowledgeable than he. Yeah, look, I'll just be honest with you. This whole thing was kind of haphazardly thrown together. Vance and Jesse are both on vacation, and we found this guy hanging around backstage, so Tony it is. Anyway, we have a slobber knocker of an event for you tonight as eight uh, video game uh, zombies from video games and people. Look. I'll just be honest, I don't know what, who the hell any of these people are. I'm a grown-ass man, and I don't play video games, and I don't much care for zombies. I spent most of my time in the broadcast booth of the 70s and 80s but covering the territories. I don't know what the hell's going on tonight, but zombies are popular, and it's almost Halloween. This is a lead-up to the Fire Pro Horror Show, so this is what you get. This <laughs> is so, so unbelievable. <laughs> I guess it does. Uh. Okay. It's a battle royal, folks, and that means it's every man, woman, and crusty-ass zombie for themselves. And, and the participants tonight include a zombie. And then we have Leon Kennedy, who I guess he's a police officer that likes to shoot zombies. And then we have Jill Valentine, who's a female police officer that likes to shoot zombies. And then we have a zombie in a hoodie. A zombie with no skin and long claws and a long tongue. He likes to hop around. He's a frog zombie or something. And then we have a big black guy who's a football coach or something. I don't know his real name. He just goes by coach. A guy named Joe Miller who, I guess, fights mushroom zombies or something. He's so fucking stupid. And then some bitch who cries a lot and needs a manicure or something. Let's just get on with this shit. You know, yeah, I almost forgot. Uh, the, tonight's broadcast is not being brought to you by Kerger Bing. Kerger Bing, have it in a way and throw a juicy bumper in your mouth. <laughs> Make sure to get it with cheese on <laughs> Hold the lettuce. <laughs> and since it is that spooky time of year they call Halloween, why not be the star of the neighborhood and instead of passing out those little piss-ass bite-sized candies, throw a whomper in them bags for them kids that are coming around. They'll appreciate that, and so will the good folks at Kerger Bean. Hey, no, no. This, is, this is good bar. I'm sorry, did you say you'd prefer a Mr. Good Bar to a Juicy Whomper? That's my, that's my favorite since, since I was a kid. Mr. Good Bar. Well, to each their own, and I'm certainly not about to sit and get into a debate with you between candy bars and 100% grade A beef. Uh, in fact, I do believe we probably should get to calling this here match. Any thoughts so far on the action we're seeing tonight, uh, Tony? Yeah, it's crazy. It's unbelievable. unbelievable. It's all over. The guys, the guys are all over the place. Well, for you fine folks at home that don't speak mumbling half-wit, I think what uh, Tony here is trying to say is that it's crazy and unbelievable. I, I believe those were two words that I was able to decipher, and that is true. This is com completely unbelievable uh, where my career has wound up. I, again, I don't see a single professional in the ring. I just see a bunch of freaks and weirdos, and, 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 and they're going cr so crazy in there. It's, it's just hard to... I can't count commentate on this shit. I... <laughs> Look. Look. Wow. And you said it. Wow is the right word. You know, I thought things were getting bad enough when they had to start bringing out the thumbtacks and the barbed wire, but now we have a bunch of flesh-eating ghouls in the place of true professionals. Where are the Kurt Hennings? Where are the Ric Flairs? I just see a bunch of, like I said before, freaks and weirdos tearing each other apart in the ring, and, and I guess people call this entertainment. Yeah, you see that? Look, look at that bitch. She's going so fast. 
This is crazy. Just wham, wham, wham. <laughs> Unbelievable. I'll do it. And Coach laying out Jill Valentine as though she owed him money and then follows it up with the same treatment to the frog zombie. Tony, you play video games from time to time. Is that what do you call that thing? Is it a frog zombie, a brain zombie? What's the, what's the technical name for this creature here? Uh, I don't know. I don't know. Uh, I don't know. No, no idea. Well, you are even more useless than I initially gave you credit for. In any case, I don't really understand how this thing is still standing since he's wearing his brain on the outside of his head. You'd think that that would make it. Pretty easy to knock him out, or just kind of have your general way with him. I don't quite understand that creature design, but nevertheless, it looks like Leon Kennedy is the first entry to be eliminated here tonight. <laughs> and that is a very good observation from you, Tony. There was indeed a kick and a punch, so it seems that you're at least capable of having a general idea of what's happening tonight inside the ring. Well, we see Jill Valentine now with her second failed attempt at eliminating the bitch from the uh, Battle Royal here, and it does seem like this bitch has an iron will to hang in there. And now three failed attempts. It, it, she's really hanging in there, uh, Tony. Yeah, this is crazy. Hey, look, look at this red guy. This is, uh, he's nuts. And now we see the bitch seemingly looking for some retribution here, Tony, uh, against Jill Valentine. She's clawing the shit out of her face. Yeah, that's, uh, I think that's what she does. I think that's what she does in the game. I think that's what she does in the game. Uh, you know. Well, Tony, I think I'll have to take your word on that, because if I were to play a video game, I don't think I'd want to play something with a bitch just scratching at my face. Sounds like, what, what's the name of that game? Ex-Wife Simulator? Is that it? <laughs> I don't know. Uh, I don't think so. Uh, I don't think so. And Jill Valentine firing the frog zombie over the top rope and Coach firing the regular zombie over the top rope. It's down to the final four. And oh my God, Coach, he just hurled Jill Valentine over the top rope. It is the bitch, Joe Miller, and the coach. They are the final three in tonight's Battle Royal. <laughs> this shit is just crazy. Unbelievable. Unbelievable. And the bitch now using those tail and like fingers to choke the life out of one Joe Miller and he is assisted by a coach. And now it's Joe Miller and the coach teaming up on the bitch. Hey, whoa. You almost, you almost out of Left right combination by Joe Miller and, it, and he is out of there. Oh my God, it's the bitch and it's coach. And they are the final two, the last two standing in tonight's battle royal. Hopefully we can get to go home soon. And this trailer park meth addict looking bitch is now driving those bony knees right into the skull of Coach. And went, oh my god, he has done it. The nightmare is finally over. We can all go home now. Coach he is the winner of tonight's zombie survival battle royal. You take over from here, Tony. I'm gonna go get out and get myself something to drink. Get the hell out of this nightmare. I ain't doing this shit no more. <laughs> oh, oh, okay. I appreciate it. <laughs> Crazy, right? Oh, this is un unbelievable. It's unbelievable. Yeah. Let me tell you. Okay. Yeah. All right. Let's, let's, let's see you guys later. I gotta get out of here. All right. Have a, have a good one.